try logging out. I okay. just got it. Hey, everybody. Ron from Fallout Hobbies here. Sorry about that. We've been having some technical issues with Facebook and the live stream. I don't know what was going on, but it didn't seem to like starting. So, here we are. Just give me a second while I adjust the camera. And we're live. There we go. Wow, that was frustrating. Facebook's annoying sometimes, isn't it? Anyway, I hope everyone's having a good Thursday. Today, we are going to be doing a um, hex camo pattern in desert colors on this Imperial Dragonfly, which is 3D printed and sold by Plastic Panorama, which is our friend Simon. And um, it's a really, really nice print. Whoa, sorry. Tap the camera with the wings. These wings are really long. So I just kind of like tap the camera with it by accident. Um, I'm going to do a hex camo pattern on all the orange areas. And then I think I might use a hex mesh pattern on the window when it's all said and done. These... Uh, wings are not glued in so i'm going to take these off right now just so that i can uh kind of move this guy around a little bit easier for airbrushing as always jules is here hey guys what's up to answer any questions if you guys have questions just put it in the comments and we'll answer them in as close to real time as possible Mm -hmm. um, for Plastic Panorama's website, the Etsy shop, and their Instagram page. There are new stores, so please make sure you go and show them some love when you like and follow them. And they have a special promo code through us, Plastic Fallout, for 16% off and free shipping in the U.S. on orders that are 35 and up. Yep, so make sure to check the comments for all the links on where you could buy this cool vehicle. And, uh... He's got tons of other cool stuff in there. There's a lot of Dune themed stuff in there, which is really cool. But there's some fantasy stuff in there as well. And yeah, so that's where we're at. Um, okay, so I've taken the uh, wings out, which I will paint probably in a metallic color at a later date. But for now, I'm going to focus on doing a cool desert camo pattern here. So I've already primed this uh, Army Painter uh, yellow, and I've pulled a couple colors from the bank, and we'll see what works well. I've got Vallejo Mecca yellow ochre, some Vallejo mud brown, Vallejo orange brown, and Vallejo desert yellow. This desert yellow looks almost identical to this color, so this might be a little bit might be a little bit too light um unless i add a little bit of yellow or something to it or white to kind of lighten it up a bit which i might not really sure yet all right hold on a second the camera might shake i'm just moving a cord out of the way sorry about that but let's get started so Camo patterns. I've done this in videos before, and it's kind of the same deal with each camo pattern, whether it's digi, hex, traditional, disruptive, whatever, flectarn. It's always a layering process. So the reason I like Army Painter primers is because I can get that first layer down without clogging up all the detail of the model with too much paint. So this is going to be the base color. Now we're going to apply parts of the stencils all around it, spray it one color, apply more stencil parts around it, spray it another color, and we'll kind of see where it's at there, from there, because that might be enough. It depends on how complicated we want the pattern to be. So I am using the 1-100 scale hex camo pattern. I don't know how well you can see this on screen. If I bend it, maybe you could see the camo cut out a little bit. And it, when you peel the panels off, 
you could use it two ways. You could use, um, hold on, it's off to the side here, it's stuck. You could use the panels like this to stick on it and airbrush through it, or, and this is the way I like to do it when it's smaller models with a lot of angles, you can use the negative ends of it like this to adhere all over the model and start masking it out. The reason I like this is because um, this model's got a lot of tight curves and I kind of want to make sure that these pieces adhere pretty well all around it. So this is the next, you know, 10 minutes is basically just applying these things. Now with hex camo, you can go willy nilly, but it looks better when you try to keep it somewhat aligned. So I'm keeping it so that all the tops kind of go like this to keep it a little bit more um, even. Another thing, you don't really want to go overboard with the first layer. Because keep in mind, the first layer is you're covering up every area that's going to remain this sand color. If you put way too much stencils on the first layer, then you're not going to have any room for the additional layers of color that build up on top of it. So I'm just putting some big chunks down. The smaller chunks I'll use for the subsequent layers when it gets a little bit tighter. I'm going to use the big chunks for the initial pieces. Trust me, this will look really good as it builds up. Any uh, questions or comments? Uh, not as of yet. We do have a couple of watchers though. So if you have any questions or just want to say hi, feel free to hit us up in the chat. Come talk to us. We're lonely. Actually, I'm just like super excited because tomorrow I will be done with my spring semester. So I'm so excited over that. And tomorrow is Jules birthday celebration. Technically, I won't be old until Monday. But we're doing the celebration. Turning 29 again. Turning 29 all over again. Uh huh. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. Yep. Perpetually 29. I don't know. It feels like a little surreal because I turned 40 during COVID. We didn't really do anything because the world was on fire. And now I'm going to be 41 and it doesn't, I still don't feel like I'm 41. I feel like I'm a little kid still, but I guess that's good, right? Well, it's good to stay youthful. All right. Now you want to make sure that these are sticking pretty well because you don't want to get any underspray. But I will double check that before I spray the first color just to make sure there's nothing popping up. The canopy I'm going to paint last right here so it's okay if that gets sprayed right now
this is the areas where these adhesive stencils really are a benefit because I'm able to kind of go around that curve right there. I'll start getting the side done over here. The landing gear, all this stuff, I think I'm going to paint kind of like a metallic gray color. So I'm really only worried about this armor here and this tail here. These pieces I'm also going to, I think, paint a metallic gray color too. And I think for the decals, I'm going to use a combination of my decals and a combination of a bunch of random uh, Gundam decals that I have floating around from years of building Gundams because there's some really nice like super tiny caution stripe, not caution stripe, but like warning ones that are very anime looking. And I think they look good in certain areas of this vehicle too. But I am going to use mine I'll make a couple custom decals, maybe make like a House of Trades icon or something that I could put like maybe on the side here and then maybe some Dune language Imperial for like a registry number right there. I think that would look pretty cool. fingernail to get in the crevices there. All right, I just got to do a couple pieces right here. Any uh, questions or comments so far from anyone? No. Okay. All right. See. A lot of people get nervous because they think this takes a lot of time, but it really doesn't. I mean, just in the short time that we've been live, I've gotten two sides of this thing done already pretty quick, you know? As far as the bottom goes, there's only this back tail piece that I need to be concerned with. So just like two more pieces there and that should be enough. Hope everyone's having a good week so far. We've been very, very busy lately. There we go. Yeah, I can't wait till things like slow down. So 
just a little bit. I can't wait till we can go to the beach. Beach trip. I'm gonna put one right there. Now let's just get this other side and then we can start painting. See, we're ready. Uh, that's a big gap right there. I should put something there. Let's put that one there. Okay. Swing it over to here. Let's get a couple big pieces on and then we can get that first color down. To start making some progress on this. So I don't know about anyone else here, but I'm really excited for when they make the second Dune movie. Oh, totally. What I really want them to get to, and they've never gotten to it on screen yet, is I want them to get to the God Emperor of Dune books. Because that's when they jump forward in time, like a couple thousand years. Arrakis has kind of changed. It's like a different planet ge uh, geologically. And the um, Leto Atreides II, Paul Atreides' son, has kind of like fused with a sandworm. But he is more or less a villain that like controls the planet now. But he's like being carried around on this like weird hover sled. <laughs> and it's like kind of almost like Jabba the Hutt when you think about it the way that they describe it in the book but he's like a sandworm human hybrid and it's uh, and he's all you know omnipresent knows the future the past all that stuff and it's pretty cool because there's like a rebellion they're trying to like fight against him and whatnot. But they never got to that point in any of the movies. Like, not like the Sci Fi Channel versions or anything like that. So, I'd be very excited to see them get to that point with the new movies. But that would end up being like the third or the fourth movie by the time they get there. So, that might be pushing my luck. All right, let's get that first color down. The air compressor is fired up. All right, what should the first color be? This yellow ochre. Hmm. Maybe the smud brown might be nice. And then I'll go over top of that with a lighter color to break it up. What the hell? 
I'm having all sorts of technical problems today. Hold on, I just cleaned this airbrush this morning. Come on. Now you don't want to, you know, drown the model in paint. So nice even coats, thin coats. Give it a little bit of time to to dry before you uh, spray the next coat on. I gotta wait a minute so I can flip it over and get to the bottom. And there it is. All right, that's layer one. Done. So if I were to peel off these, it would be a pretty simple pattern at this point because you only got two colors. So we're going to let this dry for a minute and then I'm going to start applying the next color to it. So in the meantime, let me clean out the airbrush and get the stencils ready for the next color. So, like I said uh, before, this ornithopter is available over at Plastic Panorama, which is our friend Simon's site. <clears throat> Jules put the uh, link in the chat, and we do have a coupon code for him that you guys can use. Save, what was it, 16%? Yep, 16%, and it's um, free shipping on just that are over $35. Free shipping. His promo code is plastic fallout. Nice. So there we go. So we're just waiting for a minute. Let this dry. Now ideally if you weren't, you know, doing a video and under a time constraint, what you could do at this point is go screw off for like a half an hour to really make sure that the paint's dry. But um you know, we're trying to do this for a live stream, so we want to move it along. Blowing on it helps a little bit. <coughs> mm. Let's look at these fins. I had a little bit of a paint accident on these fins and got a little bit of cracking from the primer so I need to work on that before I can start painting them but I think I'm gonna do a bit of a hex mesh pattern on the blades themselves so I can make them look maybe like a carbon fiber or something like that I like that idea like a very subtle black on gray kind of pattern And then these baffles right here, I think I'll paint like a gunmetal, and the same with these two to separate it. And I think that'll be a nice contrast. Okay. 
I think we might be good on the back here to start applying some stencils. There's just a wet spot right here still. Yeah, okay. Well, we could start on the dry areas. Like I said, if this wasn't like a timed video, take your time and be a little bit more patient, but you know, we are moving along here. I might even make this a four color pattern. I haven't decided yet. So you can kind of get the pattern to interlock a bit. So what I'm doing now is just continuing to add more pattern. Now I'll be blocking off anything that is this brown color. And remember we have the desert yellow color underneath of it. ready for the next color. more small ones in there but let me get these big pieces down first the real fun is when you get to start peeling these off and see the pattern emerging underneath that's the that's the beauty of it
get some tinier guys in here. Almost there, folks. Just bear with me a few more minutes. We will be painting again within five minutes, not even, maybe like three. I just want to pop a couple more of these on here. Because this probably will be our last color unless I decide that I want to do one more. But I think this will probably be sufficient for the effect that I'm trying to go for with it. Let's get that top. I'm kind of like interlocking the patterns around each other. And then of course putting a few random ones in there. Overlapping them in some weird ways. but still trying to keep it relatively neat. I also want to make sure everything gets a little bit of attention. See, like there's an area right here that didn't get any attention that needs a little bit. Nothing happened over here. That could use some. Just a little bit of a gap right there. You know, just really filling in the details. there nothing over here yet so let's apply one there see like I said it really doesn't take long to do this back when I started Fallout Hobbies there were all these like hand painting purists that were like oh I could do that by hand yeah you could it would suck <laughs> take forever but if you want to go for it I prefer to make a stencil Oh, I forgot the tail right there. Get a couple more big pieces. 
pieces off of these. Could this use one more big piece? Right there could use a big piece. Fill that out a little bit more. And this could use a skinny piece. Okay. There we go. Alright, so the original color was close to this desert yellow and then I went brown I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a custom mix and I'm gonna mix up the desert yellow with just a little bit of white just to kind of lighten it up a hair try to bring it back to that light sand color I just lost the cap for that on the floor don't mind me This bottle's plugged. There we go. Let's see how this looks when it's mixed up. It's like a light sand. I think I want it a little bit lighter than that. I think that's better. That's more of a desert sand color. Let's add a little flow improver to this. A little thinner. There, that should have a nice opacity. Fired up. Side here. Almost there.
make sure it's a nice even coat. I'm just double checking to make sure there's no areas that I missed. I want to make sure it's a nice even coat here. I think we're pretty good. Let's let it sit for a minute. And then we can start peeling and then see how it, see how the pattern turned out. Let me just clean my airbrush in the meantime. So has there been uh, any uh, Anything? Are you... No, no comments. No comments. Nothing. A lot of people have been watching and popping in and out and stuff, but no comments. Okay. Slow day. Slow day today. And some airbrush cleaner through here. start hacking away at this and seeing how it turned out. Now you can uh, reuse the stencils multiple times. So the waxy paper side, I like to just take these pieces off and just put them right back on there so I could use them again. Well, that's interesting. I just ordered this um, witch from Elden Ring from Plastic Panorama the other day because when my finals are over, I want to actually um, paint something. Yeah, yeah, I just really want to relax and do something for myself for a change. So, and I have my Elven chicks that I need to get back to working on and my Raging Heroes figures. But I wanted something new because you know how it is. Even when you have stuff that's unpainted, you uh, can't help yourself. You yeah. So. I know it. That is an interesting pattern. I like it. it kind of reminds me of something from Desert Storm era.
I want to finish some of those Raging Heroes ones that I got for Dark Eldar, too. Cute. We'll have, like, a painting night. That would be lovely. I'll clean out this table that's next to the one that I film on. Yeah, that's the uh, only thing about the new space. I don't have, like, a place where I can just plop and paint and whatnot anymore. Well, now you can. I can set it up for you to be a permanent painting station. Really? Mm-hmm. I can rearrange this, the whole side over here so you have, like, a... Paint, hobby space? A hobby space. Yay. You're my favorite husband. Thanks. <laughs> Do I get a star on my hand or something? Mm -hmm. Gold star sticker. We are going to be getting back to doing more of these live streams on a more regular basis and schedule and stuff too now that you know, summer is rolling around. Well, basically the rest of the video is me peeling stickers. So, <laughs> I don't know if ever anyone wants to stick around for that, but this is where the pattern's looking at now, and I'm pretty pretty happy with this. I do want to do some weathering on it, obviously. Want to add some shadowing and some, like, you know, dirt and mud streaks and stuff like that. Um, but... This is where it's going. The only other thing that I might do is I might mix up a slightly lighter beige and just kind of hand paint a couple little singular hexes in there to add a little, like, spot pattern. Um, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. But then I got to paint the wings and add those in there. Paint the canopy glass and stuff, and I think I'm going to do a cool effect on that as well. But uh, that's where I'm at for now with this. So thanks for tuning in, everyone. And uh, sorry about the beginning of the video. Facebook was doing this weird thing where it was just canceling the live stream the instant it started. I don't know what was going on. So hopefully we won't have that problem next time. But anyway, there we go. And I hope you guys have a safe Thursday. And hang in there.